I'm impressed. I'm a big fan. LK versus Lost Soul. Oh boy. Do you play with your backpack on? Okay, good. I was like, god damn, I can't even play with a watch on. You don't have your entire backpack. Jesus Christ, come on, fam. Next six p air, but the the pine berry explosion fucks it up. Um, all right, little combo. Nice. I always get greedy and pick up afterwards. I should just let I should just let that combo rock into the sweep and then pick up pen. LK has, LK has dropped some things. What a fucking combo. Look at that. 5P counter hit, instant air dash into jump P. Man, that is not easy. Cancel, jump canceling 5Ps into an instant air dash is not easy whatsoever. But, hey, guess what? It's L felt damage on Milia, so... She's probably dead. <sighs> so unlucky. That feels clowny. When you're when you're the person who gets loses like that, that feels hella clowny. Nice. He's not greedy like me, so he just ends it early with the combo. Nice. So there's there's two variations to this ender here. You go for Iron uh, Iron Savior, I think it's called. Because I think Iron Maiden is her... Uh, instant kill. Actually, I don't even know if it's still her instant kill. I'm going to look up the name real quick because it's going to bug me if I don't remember it. Iron Maiden is still her ultimate, or her insta-kill. Iron Savior is, this is still Iron Savior. Sick, okay. So, there's two ways to end this. You can either go with Iron Savior, and just get this knockdown. Uh, it does a little bit more damage, and then you go into here. Or, what you can do is you can go into 5H into Secret Garden. But, you wouldn't get a ton off it, because you'd have to pick up pins still. So, that's why you went for this one, I think. Also, uh... Secret Garden's a little less real, but it's still very scary. It's very there's not a lot of setups where you actually get a proper meaty Secret Garden. Just feeling each other out. He's just tossing pine berries. Yeah, meaty Estes. I'm assuming he wanted to wire see it and then decided not to? I don't know. I mean, it is something she has to block. She doesn't. She didn't have any meter to do anything about it. Double roll. That doesn't really happen often. And then just the close S. Or far S, I mean. Yeah, he missed, missed TK Bad Moon. He's gonna get punished. Look at all much life. Look how much life he lost for missing a TK Bad Moon. That is a lot of blood. He lost so much life for missing a TK Bad Moon. Ugh. Is he dead? He's dead. Jesus. Oops. Hmm. 
Nice. Double overhead. Gets the burst for it. I'm pretty happy. The reason why I wanted to do it, though... So this is is really smart timing on, on Lost Soul here. The timing in which he, he spends this. So he goes... Um, jump, pin, bad moon. So the reason why he bursts here... Is not only because he got hit by the bad moon, which is very minimal damage, as you can see up on the left. But the reason why is because he bursts, he OTG bursts, so he can't get, a, um, he can't read and get a punish for it. Uh, because if you OTG burst, you keep your OTG state when you burst, so it's really hard for it to get a proper combo. It's actually not impossible. Um, and then after that, he bursts, or second reason he bursts is because he's going to leave pin here. But he pulls... Pineberry first, and I think that was the mistake because it gives LK some time to dash up. And now we're, he's trying to play defensively again. When instead, if he just ran up first and then tried to control that space in front of Pin first, he probably would have had a better chance at just pulling um, Raw. Or might have been able to punish uh, Milia for trying to go in too hard. So basically, he's just gets put back in the corner and gets his in LK gets his pin back. S disc is fucking real. It's a pain in the ass. Nice. Didn't pick a pin. That might bite him in the butt for the rest of the set. Time on the dead angle. What a mash out! That was so important. This shit pisses me off. Look how close. Hold on. Fucking frame. Frame our framework. Look. Look how close he crouches to this shit. This shit pisses me the fuck off when I play Melia. Look. Look how fucking close he crouches to that. Pachi, you're not gonna fucking give me this one? Come on, fam. That shit pisses me off. Need accurate crouching to play this character. Wow, he bursts. All the way from the East Coast. That burst was wearing tank tops and fucking board shorts. Going out to Malibu. That was the most California burst you've ever seen. Wow, the chase down with Savior. I'm so fucking tight. I'm so tight for LK. Look at this shit. Motherfucker, he crouched on it! Look! He's crouching on it! Alright, he gets out of stun. He gets out of, a uh, stagger stun. And immediately goes into crouch. Fucking sitting on that shit. He doesn't pick it up. That shit pisses me off as a mil when I try to play a million. Honestly, like, I would lose this round because I was just so tight I didn't pick up pin. Shit is fucking whack. Wow, he went for the... He didn't think he was going to go for the bad moon after. Because there's no reason not to. That shit's crazy. Nice. I would have lost this round in protest. Fucking Pachi. Swear to God. Alright, that's plus. Hair car from downtown! Doing his best Jin impression. What is, um. Rapid Hits called again? Lush Shaker, that's right. Lush Shaker is actually plus on block. So, as an ender there, it's, a, it's a, not a bad idea. Gives you just a half a second to. 
act. All right, hold on. Hold on. I need a I need a timestamp for that that fucking moment. It's probably around one o three. Cause that shit is fucking whack. Amelia sweeps great. It's got great range and it's cancelable. The only thing, the only bad thing about her sweep is that it's got poor gatlings. That's their only problem with that sweep. But that's its balancing factor, because it's otherwise it'd be way too good. It could kill. How the f Okay. Hold on. So it is really good here, because he used 6H and he uses 6H in neutral here, which is fairly unexpected for Milia players. I think, like, Jun from, from Japan is, like, probably the person who uses 6H in neutral most. So then he gets the trade, and then he recognizes that he's running up, and instead of going up farther or risking himself with a far S... He just uses six H from far here and then goes in that roll cancel. All right, meaty, uh, meaty sweep. He's probably close enough to throw, but that's risky. Man, he's just dumping pin as soon as he grabs it. I don't know if I agree with that, but he's looking to start pressure in any way possible. He just runs her. You can't check Milia. She's too fast. Wow, he 2 h under jump K. Whatever. Whatever. That's exactly what I think about that. What the fuck ever. Jumpy. Very good. Good throw. Yeah, I think he recognized that from the other, the jump... From the uh, from the sweep earlier, that LK was getting kind of loose with the spacing after this set. Nice. It's good movement from LK, but then he just fucking gets knocked on the noggin. Uh, I think he expected a burst, and why that's why he rc would It would have been the worst idea with the amount of life that Amelia had at that point. Yeah, less shakers, plus six. It's been plus for a very fucking long time. Double checking if it's plus six. Yeah, still plus six. It's a. Uh, it's always plus six because I every every hit of lush shaker is only active for one frame. So any any hit that it ends on is uh. It's plus six. What the fuck happened? Why did you sit on the grenade? Or did he just fucking? Oh, he got unblockable. Okay. Shoutouts to all the sponsors that sponsor VCT. Always really appreciate it. Can't do much about the Macharino now. Look at this nice stick. Alright, Blaze versus Grover. 
I don't see the matchup a lot, so we'll see. Yeah, I would agree with even. Man, isn't it really bad that Danger Time just ruins this game? <laughs> Whatever. Fucking one Danger Time in like... 10 plus games or some shit like that. Just anti-air with 6H. I don't like anti-air with 6H because it's like really inconsistent. It's a much better it's a much better move in neutral than it is in anti-air, and it's not a good move in neutral. Just 6P on reaction, it's much easier. Venom 6P is so fucking good too. Like it's just little reason not to. I am so surprised he hasn't dead angle. You are a stronger man than I. I mean, that's why you got top four, I think. I think you're at top four at this point now. Because you got in at winners, and then you won two. You lost one, then won two. So yeah, you're at you're fourth. Ooh, you freaking baited! Alright, I think he was watching. That's unfortunate, but I think, uh, what's that called? Grover was watching. This was a good setup. So he goes for this setup specifically. Amazing to not, you know dead angle early on so he gets a full corner carry here which is wild and he goes for the full jump here he doesn't go for the the regular like regular a run jump he goes for a full jump yeah it's just like uh, he had the right read just like a hundred percent meter around it's just there's not there's so little you can do on wake up when he has that. And he can just hold it. Like, it's like, you have to get him to spend it. And if he's gonna spend it in neutral, when you have that little health, it's super scary. Because you're probably gonna eat a mix-up. Good throw. Grover's throws are insane. My 6P. So he's got, a uh, stage... He's got stage 2. Alright. Yeah, two command grabs in a row means you ha you get stage 3, which is where the juice starts. Not gonna matter. Yeah. Just defending, um, it's very small, but just defending the scratch is just a little way you can get free meter and give yourself the ability to start doing things a little bit quicker. You're a full screen, so it's not gonna matter. But when you just defend it, it is like just that little thing that can help you out because it's it helps your tension pulse and um, it's super easy to to recognize that he's gonna go into scratch. Like at this range, two H scratch is almost hundred percent gonna happen. Man, he was trying to run away from that ball. <laughs> oh my god, he has got he is, looks like he's got nine levels. Yeah, that's it. I, I just want to see why he went for scratch. I wasn't paying attention. I 100% don't agree with that. There's no reason for you not to end with 2D into ball here. You have nine levels. You're so far into stage three, fucking Alphon Auric is going nuts. And then you get dash up thrown. Uh, yeah, it's just that this little optimization here, like, it's this autopilot in your mind that really messes you up here because here you should be ending with 2d into ball you have level you have stage three so you have a four hit ball incoming that means your setups on wake up are insane and instead you go for the scratch here because for why i mean all you do is get thrown and then grover messes up the uh, throw combo which is i don't know how to adjust it at when you're on entirety of the screen because the throw, the throw combo here is actually really hard 
so you're going to do all of this, blah, 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 you're going to mess up, or what I consider messing up. So when you're here, this, the ball, interacts like a regular, like, cue ball. So he hits it off the wall, right? And then it has to travel the entirety of the screen for it to bounce back, so it makes it crazy hard to hit that. Yeah. Dino knows. Dino's, Dino's explained it, because he's a Venom player. He doesn't go into that side switch often, which I, I totally do. He was trying to hit that close ass, or the, the, the ball on him. That's so unfortunate. I always hate when that happens. Your hand goes literally through it. How's it going, brother? How's it going? Just going over some match footage from ECT, which I didn't get to see. Uh, which I didn't get to see live. It was so hot in my room, I couldn't sleep until like 7 a.m. And this started 9.30, uh, 9, 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific. There's no way on earth I was waking up for it. You know what's the worst part is I actually did wake up for this. I woke up at 9.30 specifically to watch this, and then it wasn't live yet. So I was like, fuck, I'll just lay in bed until it's done. <laughs> Went to sleep. Yeah, I, I really like doing these because, for me, it's really it's really good for me to do this because it helps me as a thinker, as a, as a player and a commentator. But I always think it's really good to take it step by step so you really think about how people approach matchups and stuff like that. He's been getting away with double head morbid. It just works out every time. Air throw break. It's basically a unicorn in this game. Doesn't mash out. There's a moment earlier where LK mashes out in time so he doesn't get thrown. Or I think, no, Minus does. But, um,. He doesn't, so he gets comboed into the ball. Hold on. I kind of want to see how the flow of this match goes. Where So Grover's in trouble. So the problem I have here is that he has almost got max meter. And then he just goes for a couple of 2Ps instead of just like trying to go for a close S or a 2S. Or, um... You could have gotten 2P, 4P, or 2P, 2P, 2D, 2P, 2S. Like there's a bunch of things you would have done here into sweep, RC into uh, 5H into a full combo. Venom's got no guts. That would have killed. So there's that little thing. I, Manny do, Manny's done that, I think, three times now, just in top 8 alone, where he's had the meter to kill and just doesn't. Good shit, though. Manny's so good at like almost everything else, though. I'm extremely nitpicking here. But, I mean, at this level, when you're getting to the freaking top eights of a Northeast tournament in the U.S., man, you got to nitpick, because these guys are good. These guys are crazy good. I have to nitpick, otherwise there's nothing to talk about. And then you just... The entire time, you're just talking about, like, oh, this guy's really good, and uh, this guy is also really good, and he's doing this really good thing into another really good thing. Alright, let's get forward. Manny versus LK. This should be a pretty good one. I believe this is Losers Finals. Yeah, these two are like some of the best that East Coast has to offer. I'd imagine everybody who's interested in gear in the in the room is very interested in this match. This is some respectful ass neutral. God, that was really done. That was really well done for Manny there. Good confirm that far s two s. That was so good.
gliding out of there. See you later. Wow, the chase down. This is the first time anybody's gotten any sort of real pressure. Goes for the uh, goes for the jump H three times. Good block. There you go. OTG scratch. I like it. Wow, he's just gonna start with the. Uh... That's it's very Manny esque. Love the knee drop. I don't use knee drop enough when I play Raven. It's just not an intuitive button. What a block. Great. Good read. Good recognition on the reglide. Uh, Manny hasn't gone through that once in this top eight, so that was good reactions. But he's left pinned behind. That's not good. He's just gonna get thrown. Yeah, first game. Yeah, Manny's neutral is fucking fantastic. I'm I'm really jealous of his neutral because I think neutral with Raven is actually really hard. Tech forward jump H. <laughs> this guy is so fucking ready to just. It always feels like he's just ready to have the right option. Wow, I like the chicken guard there, but he still gets opened up. Yeah. Spent a dead angle and then still had to spend the burst. Ugh, that was the worst feeling. But he just needed to get out. Because this round is still very, very possible for him. Bad Moon, combos into it. Disc. Good job, Manny. Good defense. Oh, no, he got reset into the overhead. I will say that, you know, a lot of people think that's like popping off because it would used to be, but I totally do that on accident because I'm just a button masher. I mash all my buttons afterwards. Just a rhythm thing like that. Sometimes I get, sometimes I get a uh, activate. There you go. Been a million around. What the fuck? Why does he end his combo like this? So he gets the hit. Do you get a better combo off this or a better setup? I I can't imagine. Why the- you have pin! Does pin maybe sit nicer if you do this? Hold on. So usually... Is that the only reason to do this for a burst safe combo? Okay, it's burst safe. Who the- who gives a fuck? Look how much life you have. You you also have a burst and you have 50%. Why the hell would you care about whether your combo's burst save or not? You're a round up with burst, with meter. If, if he lands directly on the pin and that's why he wants it, fine, whatever. But if he wants this because it's a burst save combo, who cares? Just take the burst. Because now you've given him full meter. He has no meter. He, the only thing he has to his name is Burst. And then he just loses it and gives him a shit ton of meter. I 100% don't agree with it. He, yeah, he looks like he lands directly on the pin, which I guess is nice. I was complaining about it earlier, about how you can sit like directly on the pin and you still don't pick it up. I'm so mad right now. So he gets the gold burst, whatever. You... I'm guaranteed he PRC'd so that he could get... So that he could go and punish him, but I think he did it so he could do Iron Savior. Hold on. Depending on what button he presses in the air, I think he fucked up an Iron, uh, Iron Savior. Nope. He just... He's just bad. Alright. Yeah, I don't know why you just didn't run up and throw him. Because he... Because... One more time. Because he does this pose after he does the super. Did I do it too late? Hold on. Yeah, that pose... You... 
lifetime to go punish that. Look at that, he's just sitting there. He's just posing for nobody. Jesus. Overall, pretty good for Malkai, though. I'm complaining about a very little things. I mean, that's pretty big. I think you should be punishing a, a, a blocked Raven Super or Hellas. But... But I, I largely was harping on the, on the burst thing, because I think people get too inside their own head on burst. I think they're like, everybody wants to... Jesus Christ, Manny. Um, I think people just want to bait every single burst on the planet. Like, every burst is baited, you know? Nobody can ever burst on me. When it's like, there's no reason for that. You can just take a burst. Because sometimes just taking a burst is good enough. That's a resource that you don't have anymore. That's Which is a more important resource than it's ever been, because that means they don't get burst supers on top of that. What was that burst, LK? Jesus Christ. What was that burst? He's just antsy as hell. I hate that setup. He is hella blinking. Oh my god. Is there nothing else you could have done out of 5 Heavy Start? 5H counter hit. I have no clue. You can probably have gone into 6H into slide. Or I'm gl glide, I mean. Or jump forward. Alright. First time he's gone for Secret Garden this entire tournament, and then he just had the weirdest pattern. He's just trying to stay elusive. Oh, he doesn't finish his plate! <gasps> okay, okay, good. Yeah, I think he was just trying to stay elusive while his risk uh, went down. Which is fine. It's very smart. At this point, you are launched in the air and there's no reason for you to burst. You are bursting, you're attempting to burst on a jump, jump cancelable normal. Just, you know. If you want to burst at any time, you should be bursting on the dust. Like, right when you get hit by the dust. Because he, he has to dash to... He has an air dash to confirm it. So, I think I went for it on our back on accident. Yeah. Gets stuffed by 6P because of the invincibility. Almost gets the pickup. I don't know if you can actually do that. Probably when it's. Probably when you hit a lot, more, a lot shallower. That's dirty. Dust. Dust. I hate dust. So he's gonna go into dust. 2k into dust. Very common thing, you know, technically a low high. And then Look how look how the 5D moves forward. This is one of the things I hate so much about his um about his 5D, other than that it's plus. Oh, it hits early, so you don't get to actually see the whole animation. Whatever. It skirts the floor, basically, which means it's really hard to mash out of it. Overhead. Empty jump overhead. Good block. 5P anti-air. Gets the pickup. What's good? Oh, pin accidentally goes the wrong way. That sucks, but man, that mash out five page works out. Probably looking for throw. 
Manny's playing really well. Wow. But LK, feeling it. Oh, the instant turbo fall. That's my favorite mix-up with Melia. Mash out. There you go. I love the cancel and the pin there. That was so sick. You don't see people go for that. That's so sick. All right. Yeah, basically all of all of LK's movement right now was for him to try to get pinned back. All right, in stage two. There you go. Uh, I don't know. Manny's like mad confident in his neutrals, so he always cancels the scratch. I'm just not a fan of spending your meter here because you already have. Here, well, I'll go back a little bit more. It's just this entire moment right here where he goes into scratch, right? So then he has to do a YRC ball in order to keep the pressure going. It doesn't work out, but whatever. You know, there's a very, there's a very likely chance that it could work out. So he's got level two, or he's got stage two stocks. He can't really find the hit. He's really squirrely. He loses it. Goes into the ball. No reason to go for the scratch here. Because you're only going to get one level. Unless you went for the scratch OTG here, which is going to put you at the cusp of it. Like, you're not going to get a setup unless you're going to go for that YRC. And then you're losing tension pulse. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like at the same time, it, like, he was super low on life. Either way would have... Either setup would have worked. Actually, did he have 50%? If he had 50%, I was going to be madder. No, he didn't. Okay, never mind. Never mind. His air normals are okay. They're not great. Jump H is fantastic, but it's great for pressure. It's not really good for anything else. His air to airs and air to, um, air to airs are pretty poor. Air to grounds good situationally but overall like i guess if you want to consider them in their overall context that they're still they're pretty good air normals block on the overhead just rolled out of there it's trying to backdash because he knows that manning's just trying to get in good block because he air blocked the jump 2k so he got a punish on it Nice. Oh, he tried to pick up. That's hard. That's a hard pickup. Pin, backdash. Nice. Catches him out of the air. Don't know why Manny's not green guarding. Oops. That was too far. Yeah. Manny's doing better, but LK is just controlling the pace of the match so well. He goes for full damage because he didn't pick a pin. Don't know why he just, like... I've never understood this, but LK does this all the time, where he just, like, disc YRCs in neutral for, like, no reason. You just lose tension pulse. That's all you do. You just lose meter. Hella burst safe. Paint brushed. Man, that burst was terrible. That burst basically lost him that match. Yeah, jump P, air to air, ends it with the pin to get the knockdown. Alright, he knew he was too far for Iron Savior to connect, so he just goes for the roll and hope, hopes for a mix up. Mm. 
Man, LK is like, she's just so optimal sometimes. It's insane. Like, those little air, air optimizations. Jump forward! You jump to command grab. Jump forward. Make him do something. Like, spend meter. Literally, like, it's like you get a mix-up for free. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That burst was trash. That is that was a feels burst if I've ever seen one. Yeah, he tries to return the favor, I guess. Bad burst for bad bursts. Oh. Good block on the overhead. Nice. Does he not have pin? Oh, you know what? He's 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 not had jump H connect into pin like twice, I think, in this set. Not in this set, I mean in this tournament. So you might not feel comfortable on just getting raw jump H into pin. I can feel that. Nice. He doesn't go for the extended combo. Wow, grounds him with the pin. That was so smart. That is a time where I would have gone for that. And that burst save combo was important. The other time was not, but low that low on life, that close in tournament, that's where you go for it. Alright, LK. Alright, LK gets in the grand finals versus Lost Soul. I like it. Chug that Fiji. Is that Fiji? It's important. Hella Fiji. Only the best for America's finest. Yeah. That's one of my favorite songs. Existence. Song selection is important. You really think about it. We're gonna get into this. Wow. This lady just straight Donovan McNabb, the Lord Knight out of the air. That was smart from LK. He knew he knew that Oh shit. I fucking went out of this again. Hold on. Hello? I wanna use the controls. Okay. So he pulls pin first and he just stands there because he knows he's got Pine Berry on him, so he can't stay in he can't stay in uh stance forever. So that was very smart from LK. Very little optimizations in your neutral. Nice, gets a knockdown. I think he tried to go for a raw throw and he got 6H. No, actually, because you would go for 4H, you're Amelia. He's trying to just trying to go for a meaty 6H though. That's what. <sighs> nice. So this is something you can you do actually when you're playing against a million or uh, 
an elf out. Think about the timing of the pine berry. Because if you think about the timing of the pine berry, it kind of informs how elf elves want to get mix ups. At this point, you know, if you if you get hit by this uh you haven't been opened up low, so you got this full hit, right? Full pine. You haven't been opened up low lit yet. You gotta think that maybe something's gonna go down towards the last seconds of this pine berry. And that's why he gets that's why he throws up the overhead. Because he's gone low twice and it didn't work out, so go oh go high. Six P is a good starter. Millie is a bleeder. And uh that'll do it. Good timing on the burst. Wow Oh my god. If he finished that if he finished this match with that, I would have fucking lost it. That was so sick. LK, LK versus LS. I would have fucking lost if he killed it that one. Ooh, grounded. No, thank you. This is your home. Oh, wow. I actually dropped the combo. Unlike him. Rolls out right when he air dashes in. Lost Soul is uh, aggressive, so making those reads on, on defense is important. Nice. I like it. Not going greedy. Uh, there is a chance you can pick up off that. Oh, that sucks so much. Yeah, he lost so much life for it. Elf has so much meter. This is like the scariest. Yeah, that's way close, man. You might just do a couple normals into Savior if you really want to do that. Man, Lost Soul is just so solid. But LK is also stretching for these moments. He blocked fucking the Turbo Fall mix up? What an asshole! That mix up's supposed to always work. That's like, when you're a Milia player, that's one of those things where you keep just because you need something to get started. What a fucking asshole. Actually went to Seeker Garden. Yeah, I don't agree with that one bit. So you just booked it. Mil uh, I feel like LK is maybe getting a little bit frustrated and he's trying to go for unorthodox things in order to try to throw Lost Soul off. But Lost Soul... Lost Soul's instinct is to act. So, trying to do things that like that, where, like, Secret Garden is just gonna ask him to just jump out. He's got full meter and burst, though. You probably spell it, spin the dead angle. Yeah, I think he did try to dead angle out and got a button instead, but LK was already out of there. Boom! This bitch got gatted. Oh shit! I'm actually surprised. I thought I thought LK was gonna take a, a second longer. Nice. Got it. Whew. There you go. This is the first time he's gone for the uh, shotgun P. Usually he's going for shotguns or something like that. He doesn't. Is shotgun four frames. Do you mean like a startup of shotgun? Uh, give me a second. I don't exactly recall. It's a lot better from LK though. Like, although he's eating a lot of damage, he's dictating pace more. 
That's much better from him. Uh, it's three frames. It's three frames. So, you were close. Oh, shotgun heavy. Ah, oh, fuck, hold on. What is shotgun heavy again? You mean the shot? I'm pretty sure that's shotgun heavy. I totally don't remember. Yeah, shock. Uh, the shotgun shot is. Yeah, the shotgun shot's three frames. All right, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I just wanted to go over this because East. Or I should go back to the entire match. Because he actually, he does really well here to uh, keep momentum. Goes, gets the crouching confirm into um, G Digitalis. And he backs off and he's playing it calm. I mean, that's, that's fairly minimal. Playing it calm here, nice. Yeah, see, and this is a lot better. He's really... You can tell that LK is dictating the pace. Warsies just to get him here because he goes into pin, and that's seventy-five percent that he lost. So you can already tell that LK is, has a idea of how the the match is going. Good block on the overhead. Probably could have picked up. Off that, if he was if he was recognizing it, but he wasn't. So, but still, like just an overall good round from from LK there. Really good round, I have to say. There we go. I'll take that trade. Got aggressive as the pine berry uh, timer was going down. Nice. So he's not going to get the knockdown because he already used pin. So he just goes for as much damage as he could. Yeah, and this is still going to hurt. Good timing on the burst. Oh, he got clipped. Oh, that sucks. I would not be happy about that. Ba, 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 ba. RC, pick up. Do you have enough guts for this? Yeah, you don't. Tournament point, the lost soul. I really hope L LK pulls this out. Gets a knockdown. Because he's playing a lot better. And that was a great timing on the burst there. Because he was waiting for him to cross... Uh, or cross under so that he can get the pin. Recognizing that, that's the timing that he bursts. I mean, he doesn't keep him in the corner, but it was a great idea. He was trying to wire us in, assuming that uh, he was going to like immediately pick up the pin. And just did it a bit early, so LK was going to recognize. I'll take that trade. Hell yeah. Iron Savior. Starts out with the 5 or the 6 H. Nice. Good shit, LK. What the fucking you. He has not shown that once. Why the hell would you mash there? Lost Soul's insane. God, why does that combo exist? Did he? Alright, whatever. Yeah, it's just, I'm... Just gonna chalk that up to... New 6P. What a... What an air throw. Yeah, uh, and Lost Soul now is just, he's got all control of 
of the pace. Yeah, it really feels like it. Yeah, I'm actually super, super surprised that whiffed, so. Why the fuck are you laughing? You asshole. You're so good. Motherfucker is laughing. Yeah, I'll, I mean... Good shit to him. Congrats, El uh, Lussel. Good shit to LK too. This has one of been one of his better tournaments recently, and that was a really stacked top eight. So good shot, good stuff to him. Into all of the top three. I know, uh, I know Sway was a bit salty with how he played. He seemed nervous when he played, but he did get to top eight. That's no small feat. Especially up there in the northeast. It's a, it's a rough tournament. It's a rough tournament to play at. A lot of good people up here. I mean, that's good companies up there with, to say the least. RF, Minus, Grover... Fucking Marlin Pie. I didn't even recognize him. Or I didn't recognize he wasn't there. <laughs> yeah. Grover's just good at fighting games. Just good job, him. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna cut it there. I had fun doing this. I had fun. I, this is one of the first tournaments I've missed in a while, so th I thought it was a good idea to just go over it. But I, I'll do this more often. Because this, this helps me as much as it helps others. So. Good shit to Lost Soul. You get a Frisbee. I think. So you can go play disc golf after this with a very nice ECT trophy. Uh, Alright, so yeah, I'm going to cut this off. Thank you for anybody who is still watching or was watching. I'll throw this up on YouTube. Give give uh, give Team Spooky the follow right here. Please. I appreciate it because he puts up these VODs hella fast and it gives me the ability to go through them, so I appreciate it. Alright, y'all. Y'all take it easy. I'll throw this up on YouTube in probably two pieces. You want to go through it again. But yeah, have a good one.